Hi students, in, we are working on lesson 21, session 3. In this lesson, we are subtracting mixed numbers. So, go ahead and turn to page 451, and let's work this problem out together. Ursula picks carrots and radishes from her garden. She picks four and one-fourth pounds of carrots and one and three-fourth pounds of radishes. How many more pounds of carrots does she pick than radishes? How many more is a good indication that we're subtracting? It's one of those subtraction words. So we have four and one-fourth minus one and three-fourth. So if we draw a picture to solve this, we can start off with one, two, three, four, five circles, and we have, they're all going to be fourths. And then we have to fill in four and one fourths. Oops, four and one-fourths. Okay, now, to subtract one and three-fourths, we have to subtract. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one out, because that will get rid of this one. Now I have to take three-fourths. Well, I have one-fourth right here, so I'm going to exit out. So that's one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. So now I have two and two-fourths, or one-half, left. Another way that you can do this is with a number line. So if you're using the number line to do this, you will have zero, it's actually going to be five, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, and each one of these needs to be divided up into fourths. Okay. And then we are starting at four and one fourth. So here's our four, and here's one fourth. So this is where we are starting. But it says that we are subtracting one and three fourths. So I'm going to subtract one. So if I start right here, this is going to be the spot for 1, so minus 1. And then I'm going to subtract 3 fourths. 1, 2, 3. So minus 1 fourth, minus 1 fourth, minus 1 fourth. That's minus 3 fourths. So I finish right there, which is 2 and 1, 2. 2 and 2 fourths, or 2 and 1 half, because that's halfway. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 452. Here's another way to do it. They used squares instead of circles. So this picture shows four and one fourth, and then this, this picture shows four and one fourth minus one and three fourth pounds of radishes. So they started on this side and worked their way that way. So you can see that they have one, one, one-fourth and one-fourth. And so you add those together and you would get the same answer that we did of two and two-fourths or two and one-half because that's the same thing. Two-fourths is the same thing as one-half. Here's the way that they did it with the number line. It's similar to the way we did it but um, just a tad bit different. I subtracted the one-fourths all um, one at a time. Okay, now let's take a look over here on page 453. Again, we're working with um, subtracting four and one fourth minus one and three fourths. So, right here, they are changing um, the they're changing four fourths into an improper fraction. So, how they do that is they do four times four, which equals sixteen. Four still goes on the bottom. So, the total here for 16 fourth plus 1 fourth would be 17 fourth. So that's an improper fraction. And then it says complete the equation to write 1 and 3 fourth as a fraction. So 
Again, 1 times 4 is 4, so you would have 4 fourths plus 3 fourths, which is 7 fourths. So again, you're multiplying the 4. Subtract the fraction, so it would be 17 fourths minus 7 fourths, which equals 10 fourths. So then, um, how many more pounds of carrots does Ursula pick than radishes? So if you have 10 fourths, you have to subtract 4 fourths um, until you get to where the, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So that would be 6 fourths, so this is one whole. And let's do it again, minus 4 fourths, which would be 2 fourths, so this is one whole. So you have two holes, and now the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So 2 and 2 fourths, and 2 fourths is the same thing as 1 half. So 2 and 2 fourths, or 2 and 1 half. Okay, let's go ahead and skip 5 and 6. We are on page 454. Okay, on 454, you have 3 and 1 fourth. Monica rides her bike 3 and 1 fourth miles on Monday. She rides 2 and 2 fourth miles on Tuesday. How much further does Monica ride Monday than Tuesday? Show your work. 3 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 2 fourths. Okay? So let's go ahead and turn these into improper fractions. 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 13 fourth. 2 times 4 is 8 fourths plus 2 fourths, which equals 10 fourths. Okay? So now we have 13 fourths minus 10 fourths equals 3 fourths. And the numerator is smaller than the denominator. That means I am done. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Look at problem seven. Monica wants to ride eight and two fourth miles in all. How many more miles does she need to ride? Show your work. So it says in all, so that means it's going to be an addition problem first. So let's do three and one fourth plus two and two fourths. Three plus two is five. One fourth plus two fourth is three fourths. But she wants to ride eight and two fourth miles in all, so how many more miles does she need to ride? So we would have eight and two fourth minus five and three fourth. So let's turn these into improper fractions. Eight times four is 32 fourths plus 2 fourths, which equals 34 fourths. 5 times 4 is 20 fourths plus 3 fourths, which equals 23 fourths. So we have 34 fourths minus 23 fourths, which equals 34 minus 23 is 11 fourths. But we're not done here because this is an improper fraction. So we can subtract 4 fourths because our bottom number is 4. So that's 1. And so that leaves us with 7 fourths. And 7 is bigger than 4. So we can subtract it again. That's another 1. And gives us 3 fourths. So our answer is 2 and 3 fourths because we add 1, 2 to there. All right, down here. What is the difference of 8 and 1 third and 5 and 2 third? Write your answer as a fraction and a mixed number. Okay, so 8 and 1 third minus 5 and 2 thirds. 8 times 3 is 24 thirds plus 1 third equals 25 thirds. 5 times 3 is 15 thirds plus 2 thirds, which equals 17 thirds. 
So we have 25 thirds minus 17 thirds. So 25 minus 17. Oops. So we have 8 left. So it would be 8 thirds, and that's our improper fraction. And then, to, so right here, this is our improper fraction. is that one. But to get it to a mixed number, we would subtract 3 thirds, which would be 5 thirds. That's one whole. 5 is still bigger than 3, so let's subtract 3 thirds again, which is another whole, which gives us 2 thirds. 1 plus 1 plus 2 thirds is 2 and 2 thirds. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at page 455. Steve makes nine and three six cups of pancake batter on a weekend camping trip. He uses three and four six cups of batter for breakfast on Saturday. Write each mixed number as a fraction greater than one. So when it's asking you for a fraction greater than one, it's asking for an improper fraction. Okay, so 9 and 3, 6. 9 times 6 is 54 plus 3, 6. So 54 plus 3 is 57, 6. Now on this one, 3 times 6 is 18. So it's 18, 6 plus 4, 6. So it's 22, 6. Subtract the fractions to find how many cups of batter are left for breakfast on Sunday. So 57 minus 22, which is 35 sixths. Okay, write the difference as a mixed number. 35 sixths. I'm going to teach you another way to do this. You can do 35 divided by 6. So how many times can 6 go into 35? Well, 6 times 5 is 30, and you have 5 left over. So this first five is the whole number. This remainder is the fraction. It's five sixths. Use addition to check the to check your answer. Three and four six plus five and five six. So three plus five is eight. Four plus five is 9, 6, but we know that we can subtract 6, 6, which is 1, which would equal 3, 6. So 9 and 3, 6, which is exactly what it says right up here. All right, let's take a look at page 456. This is our last page today. Which expressions have the same value as 7 and 5, 6 minus 2 and 3, 6? So the first thing we need to do is we need to solve this. 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So that would be one of our answers. And, um, and it looks just like this one, what we just did. We can also turn them into improper fractions. 7 times 6 is 42, 6 plus 5, 6, which is 47, 6, minus 2 times 6, which is 12, 6, plus 3, 6, so 15, 6, so 47, 6, minus 15, 6, which is what we've got right here. Obviously, 10 and 2, 6 is not an answer that we got. 5 and 2, 6, yes, that's the answer that we got. 9 and 2, 6, no, that's not what we got. Okay, number 6. Helen buys 5 pounds of oranges. She slices 2 and 3 tenths pounds of oranges to bring to a party. How many pounds of oranges does Helen have left that are not sliced? Okay, if you have 5 pounds... You can take one of those pounds, so it's almost like we're regrouping, 
and turn it into, since this has a 10 on the bottom, 10 tenths. 4 and 10 tenths is the same thing as 5, but we're doing this to be able to subtract. So if we have 4 and 10 tenths and subtract 2 and 3 tenths, what do we have left? 4 minus 2 is 2, 10 minus 3 is 7 tenths. Okay. Kira reasons that 6 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 3 fourths equals 4 and 2 fourths because the difference between 6 and 2 is 4. Okay, that's right. And the difference between 1 fourth and 3 fourths is 2 fourths. That is correct, but 1 fourth minus 3 fourths is not something you can do because this is smaller than this. So, is Kira's reasoning correct? No, because you cannot subtract three-fourths from one-fourth because it is bigger than one-fourth. Okay. That is it for this lesson. I, If you would like to try, if you don't feel confident and you want to try some of the answers or some of the problems on pages 457, 458, 459, and 460, then I highly recommend that because this is one of our um, harder lessons that we have done so far this year. I will put the answer key for these um, on Google Classroom so you have those if you're going to go over them.